breaking news, Nigerians. Finally, it's happening. War on seats at home. Two traders reportedly killed, several others wounded, and made protests as Governor Mba shot Enugu market. Seven other people were also injured. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Two traders have been reportedly killed in a protest following the indefinite closure of Ogbetu main market in Enugu State by Governor Peter Mba over no complaints with his ban on his seat at home. Sahara reporters reported on Monday that the embattled governor Mba led government had declared war on resident and private businesses that failed to open for business on Mondays. It was reported that Governor Mba ordered the selling of several shops, malls, and banks on Monday, which he accused of observing illegal sit at home, called for a Nigerian separatist living in Finland, Simon Ekba. Justifying the selling of private business, Governor Mba, in a statement issued on Tuesday, which was signed by the Secretary to the State Government, Professor Chidebere Onya, he said that businesses sealed on Monday would be closed for one week. He also imposed that owners of businesses sealed must provide their current tax, clearance, certificates, and all other relevant revenue documents at the end of one week to enable the state government to review and consider their former letters for reopening, otherwise they will be uh, as sanctioned or, or permanently forfeited to the state government. However, Sahara reporters gathered on Wednesday morning that trouble started when traders whose shops were sealed told the market leadership that their shops must be unsealed for business or those on seed will not open for business. A trader in the market, Jared Uzo, told Sahara reporters that there was a protest on Wednesday following the instances uh, of some traders that their shops must be open or there would be no trading in the market. Shortly, soldiers and hundreds of policemen were deployed to the market by the governor, they came in and started shooting and locking up shots. The, the soldiers shot two traders dead inside the market. I escaped unhurt by only the grace of God, he said. A policeman who was at the scene of the incident confirmed the development to Sahara reporters in a telephone interview. According to the police officer, the governor has shut down Ogwe to main market indefinitely. I am in the market with my DPO, soldiers, and so many other security agents. Ogwe to market has been totally shut down. There is no single soul in the market as I speak to you. I don't think Ogwe to market will be opened again. Information reaching me now is that two traders have been shot dead by soldiers in front of the market. It is regrettable, but I think the governor is not handling the seat at home situation well. Exactly. Mm. May God have mercy on us. Why are soldiers killing traders? How many unknown gunmen enforcing the seat at home have they killed? Those who are enforcing seat at home, killing innocent people who are coming out. How many of them are they killed? You are not killing innocent, innocent people, innocent traders who are fighting how they will feed their children. This is very wrong. Girl. If you want the city at home to end in the southeast, you know what to do. Let the government release Mazen Namdekano, and that is what is holding everything. That is the foundation of all this problem. Girl. Nigerian government should allow peace. Rain in the southeast region. 
Release Mazin Namdekano. And this governor, he's not handling this situation well. Now, people have been killed because they are running for, the, the, for their own safety. You think so everybody, when they sit down for their house now, because, say, they won't sit at home. They know the consequences if they come out, that some persons will kill them. And you want them to go and be killed. How are you not sure that if these people go out to their business, that you are going to protect them? This is a very simple thing. You don't even need soldiers. You don't need police to protect anybody anywhere. Let the government release the IPOB leader. If these people are criminals who are doing all these things, once Mazen the Kanu is released, then Nigerians will now understand what is going on in the Southeast region. This is really very, very regrettable. Two people now, they don't just kill those two persons now. They are the breadwinner of their families. So, um, Peter Mba, the governor of Enugu State, you don't see they had more problems to their to, to his people's problems. We understand that he's fighting for his people so that he sit at home, whatever we end, so that life will become normal in the southeast in Enugu. But why doing this? You have to be very careful because the matter I got has to be if you tell people, say, may they come outside, they will be killed. And now you said those people who do not come outside. They will never have their shops again. You see the problem now. It seems that the Enugu people, they are now in the middle of the Red Sea. They're not going to go back, no front. They are trapped. The government should understand this. That these people, they are afraid. They should put pressure on President Bola Metinubo to allow this man to go. So unfortunate what is going on in the southeast. So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.